what is up guys my name is sleep slots and in today's video i'm gonna do a different video it's gonna be a how to video okay so um uh the best editing program i'm gonna recommend to you guys is action uh before this editing program i used uh, obs i used to use obs classic um i'm gonna show you how to use action and it's a paid software i'm gonna look it up now and how i'll see how much it actually cost uh so it's a company which is called Mirils. Uh, I guess I pronounced that right. I hope so. If not, sorry. And the one I purchased was the Action Home Use. You just gotta press this button. And then you gotta pay with your credit card. And that's it. And nothing of this is gonna like show up. This is just my previous recordings. If you wanna record in 1080p full uh, HD and 60 FPS, I really recommend these settings. Uh, I have an i7 4790K and a GTX 1070. So you have these uh, four different modes. This one is window mode. And this is uh, pick the area you want to record yourself. And this is game mode, which just pretty self-explained. You just record the game itself. And then uh, for file format, I would recommend AVI or uh, NVTS. And if you choose MP4, you have to lower this. Because 100% that's going to be way too high stress on my CPU. It wouldn't handle it at all. I would get 4 FPS and that's not even playable. So make sure to bump this down if you choose MP4. And then for video size you can choose 1080p which is what I record in or 720p. I would at least recommend 720p and 60fps or 1080p 30fps or 60fps. And then here you can choose your frame rate and is your... Um, you just don't want to bother with this, don't mind. And the microphone is a microphone. And then you can also live stream with this software. Uh, I'm not going to show you this now. Uh, and this is audio recording. You can record separately your audio and stuff. This is benchmarking. So I can benchmark all your games. And here you can see my specs. And then you can capture a screenshot with F12. And this is the settings you want to go to. So we're gonna start with the little wheel over here. You want to check uh, automatic check for updates. Uh, it works for me. And run action on Windows Start. This you don't have to do this, guys. This is own preference. If you will uncheck this, that's fine. Video quality high. That's what I choose. And bitrate. I'm just gonna leave it at hundred because I don't use uh, uh, MP4 as a file format. If you have an i5 or an i7, Haswell or Skylake, it doesn't matter. And if it has four cores or more, like my i7 has hyper threading, so I use multi record. Use multi core recording, so that means that it's using more of your cores, cores on your CPU, which is good because then you will have um, a better game experience and more FPS and overall just better like influence. On the recording software so make sure to use uh, check this if you have a multi-threaded uh, a 4 core or 8 core processor and this is overlay graphic settings you can add overlay like uh, Twitter logo or YouTube logo if you want to do that and this is your webcam preview I'm not I'm recording with the software now so I cannot uh, show you but you're, you can also use a green screen, uh, which is what I use right now. And then you just mix and match with uh, these ones. Uh, one important thing with uh, green screen is that you um, need to have good lighting, guys. So I have two studio lights. They're umbrella lights and they're really bright. And they shine up my green screen and a little bit in my face. So if you want to use a green screen, then make sure that there one is separating your face. And then it separates your green screen because then you have gonna best gonna have the best experience with your green screen, and then it's gonna look amazing. And then this you can uh, like um, move your face cam around, and this is the video size. So if you wanna have a smaller face cam, you can just drag this down, and you can do it at a hundred. Uh, you do not want to record uh, your microphone with your webcam because your microphone on your webcam is pretty shit. Just uh, check yeah, record system sounds. And also check this allow multi-channel audio recording. And then here comes the important tab. So I use voice meter. I'm just going to drag it up to show you guys. I use voice meter as you can see. So this is my inputs. I have a video on my channel. So if you want to see how you do this, you can go. 
I will leave the link in the video to this video in the description. And then you choose your input or your output in my case, which is the output for the um, um, editing software for my microphone, which is voice meter. Uh, you could also just choose your Blue Yeti or your microphone. You don't have to have like a software for it. And then what I use is volume put at 100 and then record microphone into a se se separate audio track. This is very important because when you check the record microphone into separate audio track, you would have your game audio and then your uh, microphone audio at two different points, two different uh, tracks so that then you can edit it much easier. And then system sounds, you just have to play with this and that that's it. And record video is F9, so this is just your hotkeys. You can set up uh, everything you need. That's it for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If this works for you, please drop a like on the video. And subscribe. And it will really help me out, guys, if we could hit, hit 100 subscribers before the 24th of December. That would really help me out. And I will leave all the... Um, all the links you need for the videos and the uh, action recording software in the description below. So that's this guys. Peace.